Welcome everybody today. We will learn Git and GitHub. Yes, uh, let's see uh, uh, the definition here and why we need GitHub. Uh, maybe uh, I think, uh, of course, we will see also basic command lines, but we use command lines just to understand the GitHub because some of you may not know uh, 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 what is this uh, basic command lines. So what is Git and GitHub? Uh, Git is just a software uh, that allow us to uh, control different versions. So we are going to install the software. Then uh, I will just try it Git like this. Yeah, so you come here and maybe I have to share with you and you can install. Then by clicking over here, uh, you keep it for some time, even if you don't have to select what uh, platform you are using, uh, because uh, a machine or platform, because the Git detects what you are using. And in just short amount of time, it gets downloaded. I will give you some time. And if you see it like this, just uh, double click and it will start installing. Do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? Yes. And then next, I don't want to change anything. I just want to use the default. And again, a default. Yeah, and default and the default. Yeah, as default. Then wait until it finishes. Great. Then uh, if I just undo this and finish. Yeah. Now we installed Git and we should get it here as in a Git bash. So maybe I think it's better if I ask you if you managed to install it already. Can you write one for me if you did what I did? Yes, if you are using a Mac, it might be a bit different. Yeah, uh, when you just go to the, uh, you may use a homebrew. Uh, let me check. Git Mac, you most probably you may install it with uh, some brew. We've seen brew install Git. Let me but uh, you should have first a uh, homebrew maybe. But you can try it also this, or it may have also a binary. Uh, first, let's see if you manage to uh, install with that brew install. Do you have homebrew? Mark. Yeah, yeah, that's that's true. Yeah, you can. 
Uh, I am not uh, currently using Mac, so I, I forgot what to use on Mac. Uh, uh, I shared with you, uh, try first brew install git, but uh, you have to have homebrew. To install homebrew, this is the, the link you need. Uh, just write this and I think you will install, yeah. Just go to the terminal and paste this and then homebrew will be installed. And then after that, you may write this. Okay, now uh, let's move on, come to here. If you are uh, window users, come to here and then write git bash. Have you seen this? Git bash, if you see this and then click it and you may see something like this. And then I may teach you some of the basic command lines today uh, from this, if you have seen it, uh, how to navigate um, uh, the, the different, different directories. So instead of using the graphical user interface, sometimes we can use this the command prompt in this to navigate between uh, folders or directories. So now let me go to the desktop. Desktop. CD means change directory. And then it will take me. Have you seen? Now I am in the. What do I have here? I may have, you can say LS means list. Oh yeah, you see some of the, the things, HTML, CSS, this is your directory. Okay, can we go to your directory? See, DHTML, yeah, we got in there. And then again, LS, yeah, we've been learning week one, week two, week three, and now we are in week four. Can we create a directory there? Yes, we can actually make dir. And then we can say week three, uh, week four. And now again, let's write ls. Yeah, we managed to create a folder. I have to give you some time. Yeah. And then can we go to week four, CD week uh, four. And then let's check what is inside week four. What do we have inside week four, guys? Tell me. Creating of a Git account, no. GitHub account. Nothing, nothing, because we didn't do anything. We just create a folder, nothing. So if you see LS, there's nothing. But sometimes if you want to see also hidden uh, files, you may see LSA. Yeah, you can see hidden files here. So hidden files related to, because this says the main, in your case, it doesn't say main because I was pushing it to GitHub. So it says main. Okay, now can I create a file here? Yeah, why not? To create a file, we use the command touch. And we may say sample.txt. Let me check now. Yes, sample text. How can we open this? Actually, we can open this. Uh, maybe let me see. I'm also forgetting the 
opening is at nano. Um, yes. Yeah, nano. As you can see, we can say nano and the name of the file sample. And it will open something like this. This uh, writing part, you just only use uh, the arrow keyboard, the arrow up, down, left, right. Okay, so let's write something on this writing part. And you can only use the arrow key. The mouse, the, the mouse doesn't, does not work in here. Okay, so if I want to save this, how do I save it? Actually, there's instruction here, help. So control G, help, control X, exit. So I'm going to write, uh, uh, click control X, control X. When you click control X, it says save a modified buffer. And then if you say yes, it will be saved. If you write no, N, it will be no, then cancel control C. Then I will uh, click Uh, yeah, this, and then I think it's now, uh, enter. I think after this, just enter, we'll save it. Now to see if we wrote something or not, cat, cat is to read, cat, the name of the file, sample. As you can see, the, what we wrote, a while ago, yeah? And if we want to open again, nano sample.text, yeah, and we can write from where we stopped. Do you, do you prefer this or graphical user interface? Let me know. I added something. So again, let's exit control X, then yes, and then enter. Then now let's see what we wrote. Sample.txt. As you can see, do you prefer this? We added this text, then you will see. Again, let's learn once more. Now, no sample of txt. We're just offering just to remember how to do it. And you can only use the arrow button to go to the left or the right. So there is no or key, uh, other way. I need your answer. I sometimes like this, but I think I prefer graphical user interface. Control X, Y, and then enter cat and sample the name of the file. As you can see, I need your answer. I sometimes like this, but I think I prefer this. Yeah, now you manage to navigate between a folders or directories. You managed to create a folder because this week four, we created it. And inside week four, we create this sample. You can see it as sample.txt. And if you want to create more file, for instance, you can keep a touch uh, index.html. 
uh, about.html a uh, project.html uh, whatsoever something file name yeah file name dot something html javascript or python or what's or txt file okay yeah now let's how many files are we trying to create at the same time one two three so it's possible to create multiple files at once now let's see ls to list yes as you can see we have as uh, uh, how many four files inside week four directory great what do you think it's so easy is it file. more faster than the windows hmm? is it more faster than the windows I am not sure about the speed, but it's it works the same. It's like okay. this is just. Can I ask you why we are using it on the CMD when we are doing we can do it in Windows? Ah, uh, this is not the CMD. Uh, the Windows command from the CMD. This one it's a bit different. The Windows. Oh, okay, okay. It's different. For instance, if you write ls, it doesn't work in here. Yeah, because ls is it's only uh, it's working yes. on Mac. Yes, if you have to, yeah, dir desktop, for instance, uh, cd work, you have to write the dir uh, like directory or something. So the way okay, so you, mm, I understand, you are not in CMD. Yes, we are on git bash, and this allows us Linux command. It, it's like Ubuntu or any other uh, Linux uh, uh, distro, uh, this, uh, distribution, so, yeah? No, no. Yes, it's Linux command, this supports. Okay, so is it clear so far, guys? Now let's maybe again, let's go out. How about, how can we delete the files? Because we've been making uh, uh, files and also let me follow this uh, opening a file we saw copying a file by the way we can also copy a file uh, to copy a file as you can see uh, copy and uh, we copied this file and gave it a different name yeah so I will show you, for instance, here, CP, that means copy. And we have the sample, if you remember. I can change, I can copy the sample and then I call it test uh, txt. So that means now I am copying this and save it as a different uh, file. Uh, let's see. As you can see, I have this test.txt and let's see if it has the same content by opening it, test.txt. Yeah, and as you can see, it has the same content. That's great. Yeah, next, what do we have? Uh, renaming the file, actually, renaming a file. Mm, I have to check what we have. Um, as you can see here, we used the, the move. Uh, we have the move uh, command can be used also to rename. I have this day two and I renamed it like this. Okay. Uh, for instance, uh, I can change. Uh, move, I have test dot txt, but maybe if I want to rename this and I may call it test file dot txt because what is test then, uh, yeah, so it's renamed. And let's see now what we have. So now, I don't have any more the taste file because it's renamed before I had it here, but now I don't have it anymore because it's renamed. 
yeah, we can see it. Great. Um, that is re rename using the move. Uh, moving a file, moving file and directory. As you can see now, I have this day one text and moving it to a day one directory. So you have to have a directory. Let's see now, for instance, if I have a directory, uh, maybe if, let's make a directory, make a dir um, backup, backup files. And let's see. Now, as you can see, I have about and, and the backup files directory or folder and the others. And I want to move one of, for instance, the, sub, the sample text to the backup. We can use again, move. Uh, and maybe I can I have to see the, the command, how we move. Mm, day one. Yeah, they, we use this move again. So uh, we have to have the move command. And I want to move the sample text where to this directory. So I have to put it here. Back up. Yes, now let's see a list. As you can see, sample is not anymore here because it, it, it has been moved to this. And let's go to the backup and see if it has backup files and then ls. Yes, it has been moved here. Great, guys, it will be too much for you. Let's have a break and get back after 15 minutes. Let's start. Welcome back, guys. I hope you understood what we have covered in the first session of today's lesson. Yeah, we've been uh, creating folders, files, and navigating between folders, something like that. And let's move on. And something we didn't see, um, uh, for instance, uh, If we want to uh, move multiple files, actually, you can just uh, do something like this, as you can see, uh, move and T, and this is where you want to. And these are the files, the multiple files. Yeah, so try, I think you can practice by that. Let's try, maybe we can how many files we have, for instance, let's move a move with a T, T flag. You know, it is just, uh, just to show that it's a multiple file. And then I can move, for instance, the index.html, the about.html to the backup. Mm, I think the back, the, the folder should be first backup. files and which files do we want to move these two files let's see ah oh, failed back up files no such file or directory okay what files i thought Why? I wrote, I wrote it properly. Oh yeah, yeah, because I'm already inside the backup. Have you seen me? Yes, yeah, so I have to do, I have to go out from there. So to go out, CD dot dot two dots. Now we can repeat the same command. This, it has to work. Yeah, now we moved it to the uh, backup files. Now let's move to backup file and see what we have there. 
Yeah, as you can see, about index.html has been moved. Great. Now let's delete delete a file and directory. Yeah. How about um, if we want to now, since we are in the uh, backup of files, and let's see what we have. We have three files, and let's destroy them step by step. Uh, for you can say rm, rm is to just to delete a file, and I want to delete the sample, a sample text. Now yeah, it's gone. Let's check it. Yeah, as you can see, it, it has been gone already. And now let's uh, uh, delete, or I mean, delete also the about page, maybe the about uh, file. Yeah, it has been moved, uh, removed. Unless now we, we are left with this one. And uh, remove again, index. Let's check, there is nothing. Now let's go out from this directory. And if we want to, let's see what we have now. Backup files, project HTML in this. Um, let's remove the directory. If I want to remove the directory itself, the folder, when I'm saying directory, I mean a folder. So remove dir, remove directory, then backup, backup. Yeah, it has been removed, let's see. There is no any more backup directory here. Okay, let's uh, see. Yeah, I think that's what you need. Uh, but maybe I may show you something sometimes, some file. Let me create a mechador, uh, test the directory. And I call this test directory. And now as you can see, we have this test directory and let's go to the test directory. Uh, and create a file there, uh, test.html or uh, sample, whatever, .html or text, okay? How many files do we have? Two files. And cd dot dot, I'm getting out from there. And if I want to delete this, uh, I may use rem, uh, dir, remove directory and uh, most probably if it has a file, it may not allow you to delete it. Let's try. Have you seen failed to remove test directory? Directory not empty, it's not empty. So sometimes if you want to force it, if you want to destroy it uh, no matter what, so rm, rf, then the name of the directory, there, this really destroy anything. Yes, it has been destroyed. Let's see now, it's not there anymore. Congratulations, guys, you've covered basic command lines. So most probably uh, you should watch the video once or go through this step by step and more explanatory than what I have covered, just go through this. And now let's get started, uh, Git and GitHub. Uh, I have been working on the uh, this directory and I want to also destroy this one because uh, in the meantime, you will have also a chance how to destroy that. Remove RF week four. Is that the week four? I have to see first what it has because when you do destroying, you should know what it has first, LS. Yeah, so that's the, the, the folder we've been working on. So then let's get out again, LS, uh, remove RF, then week four, no, it's removed, now week three. And yes, even I can exit it from here because I don't like to work on the, the project we've been working because it's Git initiated and it's hard to, to show you. 
So we have to create something from scratch. Git bash again. Um, git bash. Yes. So again, CD, and I call it desktop. Let's go to the desktop. Now I'm at the desktop to see what I have on my desktop. Yeah, this is. Now let's create on the desktop some uh, some folder. What folder can we call it? Um, we can call it Git lesson or whatsoever. Make their or portfolio if we are working on a portfolio project. Yeah. So let's call it maybe portfolio project. Portfolio. Great. Yeah, even we don't have to work on here, even you can go to here, you know, uh, like here. You don't have to create it like that all the time. You can just create it like this. Or only okay. But now I'm just teaching you. Okay, even we don't need this here, we can open this with uh, VS Code. I don't need this and I can close it. Now let's go to VS Code. VS Code. I think you love VS Code, right? Yeah, so since I'm using VS Code with Python and other language sometimes you may see okay portfolio i want you to do this right maybe just even if you drag this to up drag this up you may see something like this yeah the command the prompt is opened, it's, but it's PowerShell. So let's change this, uh, I can kill it. And again, you can change it to git bash. Have you seen it, git bash? Maybe I can restart all over again. Destroy, and you just drag this to up. Then, um, if you see this, you may even kill it, kill this terminal, and you may open git bash. Now I have git bash. Yep, and where am I? Inside the portfolio. Do I have anything else? Nothing. I hope it's open there. Yep. Now I can use this to create a file or to inside here, or I can just do this. Which do you prefer, guys? This way or with the touch? Here. Please use the codes, please. Okay, do you want this? <clears throat> yeah, it's much better. I mean, to to get used for the code system. Yes, okay, but I will read both. Okay, guys, now let's do like index.html, right? Yeah, you created a file here and you may write HTML and this one, I. Yeah, just to see here if there's a file already, as you can see, it's file already there, right? Yeah. But let's destroy this file. And now let's check if there's a file. Yeah, there's no file. Can we create that the same file using this? Yes, of course. Touch index.html. This one allows you even to create more file at once. H top. But let's just create the first one. And you see, you saw it already there. Can we write on that? Yes, of course, you ha we have to use nano and index. And now it's opened since it's HTML and H1. I love people, don't you? HTML. 
then now you may say, as you can see, control X, and then just enter, uh, I think Y, enter. Now it's, if you want to see what it's written, I have to use the cut here, cut, uh, then index. Yeah, it is, but if you open it also, it's here already. Uh, how did I wrote it? Yeah, anyway, now I'm just showing you, but it's not very important. You can just use the graphical user interface. You don't have to use this, but there are cases we have to use. Now let's do something. And uh, let's destroy this one also. And uh, before we start anything, let's do git init. What does that mean? Okay, Git will allow us to track what is happening in our project or in our directory or inside the folder. Tracking means when there is some change, that change will be recorded. And if we want to trace it back, we will have a chance to trace that back. So after you do the Git init, yeah, that means Git will start tracking you on your files. Git status, that's, let's first see the status of this repo. Oh, yeah, when you, the first thing, the first thing you should do, write Git status. And it says, not a Git repository or any of the parent directories. So this doesn't have any Git. So what we should say, Git, in it, so we are initializing the per the portfolio. Yeah, initialize empty Git repository. It's empty, and we initialize it. Let's see now Git status again. Yeah, Git status on branch. So have you seen now? It says master. Before there was no any anything after this, but after we we do the git init, the git init, there is this master, have you seen? So we are in the master branch. Okay, great. And no commits, nothing to commit. Yeah, nothing to commit means nothing to save because there is nothing here. Yeah, for most people, the word commit is very confusing, but I want you to understand the word commit uh, as in uh, save for 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 the time being, it's not directly, but it's somehow save or uh, keep something uh, for a backup. Now let's create a, a file index.html. And what we did, we added one file. Does it have anything? It doesn't have anything. But anyway, something has been changed, right? So let's check git status. Oh yeah, have you seen? It is tracking it. It says untracked file, use git add followed by the file name to include in what will be committed. So git is so smart. It will, it actually let you know what you have to do after each step. For instance, if I don't know git by heart, what I should do, git add, and then it's telling me the name of the file. What's the name of the file? This one, okay, index.html. Yes, now let's see git status again. It's good to check git status now and then. Yeah, now it's green. It says changes to be committed. That means the change I made is ready to be committed. But if you change your mind, and if you want to get it back, you can write this and stage. Okay, let's get it back then me because I want to add something before I save it. Git remove the hash and then the file name index. And then if you do get status again, you see it read because I didn't save it. I changed my mind because I want to add something here. Okay, let's add something first. Uh, as, you, as usual, at the top, do you remember this? Yeah, you know this, it's a declaration. You should have 
the HTML, and then the head, and inside the head, the title, and let's call this portfolio. And then let's have the body. Everybody has a body and does every website has a body too. Then let's call this one H1 and the portfolio. This is what we need, yeah? And if you want to follow me and if you don't have this code, I can just keep give you here. It's on the chat. Yeah, now let's see if there is any change. Yeah, of course it's the change is the same. Nothing like if you say git status, it's just this file. There is some change. Now I may say git add. Yes. Oh, sorry. That this git add is actually lazy way of adding what it's changing. Instead of adding it by file name like this, if you want to add one file or many files at once, you can say git add dot add everything for you. So I use git add dot git status now. Yeah, it's green. It's ready to be committed. Now let's do our first commit. How do we commit? Git commit message. What's the message going to be? First commit. Okay. And as you can see, this commit has a uh, name and the name is first commit and it also tells uh, one file has been changed of course we changed only one file and the number of insertion i think this it's based on a line let me count yeah it's as you can nine lines uh, so it shows you also the insertions and created mode and we have just created now let's do status git status there's nothing to commit because it's clean. And what we, the change has been already saved. Okay, then let's do git his uh, log to know the history. Yes, the history, we are in the master branch and we committed one and we have a commit ID at some point. If we want to tra tra trace it back, we can trace it back with this ID. Who was the person who committed this or who saved this uh, this uh, file? Yeah, that's me. And at this time, and the name of the commit was this. So it has a very good name. Yeah, a very good information. Yeah, great. Now let's do more change. And uh, no, I think I can, let's keep, uh, as you can see, this seems a bit, it doesn't have a header. Let's add a header and header is really good, yeah? Uh, maybe we may need also a kind of a menu, yeah? Like, okay, list and, uh, and maybe we can say just uh, a dead link home and we may, I can just call this about, and I can just call this projects, and I can call this contacts. Yep. Now I think this change is enough. So what did I add it actually? Now, what do you do? You come here, git add, and the file name again, index.html. Or if you feel lazy, just git add dot. That's enough. Enter. And then git status. Yes, this is about to be committed. That means save. Every now and then you are saving when you are committing. So let's do the commit. Git commit M. Now what was, because sometimes when you save some file, you should give it a very good name for saving. Now, for instance, what I did is actually I add header, so header has been added. That's a very good message. Then I can track it with a very good name. Header has been added, yeah, good. Now if you check its status and even it tells you how much one file changed, 19 insertion. So as you can see, uh, 19, um, I don't know. So we have added all this. So up to here, it could be about 19, yeah. And it tells you also 
deletion did I delete one yeah maybe just something might be removed but it's it's just it could be a line or something so now let's do git log to see the history how many commit did we have already two so as you can see the first commit the name of the first commit was first commit and now it was header has been added. Yes, great. So as you have seen, once if you learn the commands, it's the same command, you do it now and then all over again. Great. Now, this needs to have a kind of main, right? A main. So let's do main. What um, it could be, it could have some sections also. And let's have it to one. Uh, introduction, introduction, maybe how introduction looks like that. And maybe we can have also some text and lorem epsilon, right? Yeah, this is good enough. And we have this. And now we will let's do again the same thing. Git add for the file name if you want. Git commit. What's a very good git commit message now? Tell me. Main. Yeah, main part has been added. So other developers didn't uh, understand this so easily, what you've been doing. But if you just, yeah, git status, everything is clean now, as you can see. And if you see git log, the history, yeah, how many logs and um, the, the, the recent uh, commit and the previous commit. And if you go and this is, and now you have to uh, press the Q to get out from this. Great. Now let's add a footer and we will finish. A footer, yes. And maybe we can add a div additional div, and maybe we can add a copyright. Copyright. Hmm, what was this? Yes. Now let's commit again. Hit add dot or the index. And then git commit. What's a very good commit message? Footer. We are talking about footer. Footer has been added. Of course, you can give it another fancy name. Yes. Great. This is good enough. Now let's connect this to remote GitHub. Yeah. Okay, great. Let's create repo. By now, I know everybody should have a GitHub account and uh, you can create repo like this by right, uh, clicking where is, I think, yeah, your repo. But you can also just uh, click over here and create repos. As you can see, you can make it public or private and at the same time also you can generate this this uh, readme documentation file uh, the git ignore and license and you, even you may uh, create the type of the license you want to include uh, but for the time being i don't want to select this i can uh, create them when it's needed do I want to make it private or public? I prefer uh, public because I want you to see it. And the name, we can call it any name, but for the timing, portfolio. So I don't have a portfolio. Um, just we can call it portfolio for the timing, okay? Yes. Then you come here and Great. Um, it gave us something to do to add 
Yeah, have you seen, do you remember git init, we did that. Git add this readme. Um, if we want, we can create and add it uh, for it, but it's not important. Git commit, we have finished also already that. But what we do is actually this, we need this, this line. Okay, copy. And then what, uh, where this line leads to this, this, this means actually this repo, this repository uh, refers to this link. Then I will just copy this and explain to you. Git, uh, this, the local, this repo, remote, uh, the remote origin name, you can call it any name you want. Uh, any name you want. And then, yeah, we are connecting the remote with my computer, with this project. So this code allow us to get connected. Yeah, if nothing happens, that means you are doing it. Good. So it's connected. What is next? Git push you origin master. This will allow us to upload what we have in here. Okay, then maybe if you don't have it, uh, you should take it from your your account, this one. But this, even you get it. After that, you just uh, pull, copy this and paste it on the terminal. Uh, it may say main. I will talk about main later, but call it master, okay? Then I'm just calling it master. Oh yeah, so fast, surprisingly fast. It, it just surprised me all the time. And as you can see now, my files are here already and it's here. Have you seen it? Uh, do you see it guys? Yeah, yeah, we do. Yes, great. So let's see. And if that's the file we wrote. Yes, as you can see at the top, it has some declaration and it has the HTML and the head and the body inside the body. Uh, we have the header and the main and we have the footer and this is what we've created. Yeah, great. Uh, can we see the commits we did? If you, if you check the number of commits, uh, yeah, we have four commits. Yeah, have you seen these commits? It's a kind of saving some part of your project. So the first time when we commit, what did we have actually? Yeah, the first time when we just commit, we had only this amount. So we can actually retrieve this part if we want. Or what, what we had at the second time? Yes, and then we created the navigation or the header part, if you remember. And then the third, if you remember, we created the main section, the main section. And if you want to see the upper part, you can just click this and you can see everything. But the green area is the only part you added. So the part, the newly added is all the time green. And if something is removed, it's a kind of uh, uh, raid. And later we added the footer part, as you can see, the footer is this. And then just to see everything, yes, great. Wow, this is just like the history of your, of your website, right? Yeah, that's the progress, what you've been doing. So you can track what you've been doing. You can take a snapshot of the project or the file uh, whenever. So you, this increases actually your creativity because nothing uh, stops you from creating some, uh, some new features, uh, to add some new features because you can have uh, a backup of uh, everything what you've been doing. Yes. Yeah, that... I like it. But just I want to ask something repository. What is the 
main purpose of it. Is it the connection? You mean this repository? Yeah. Because not, not the report, for, yeah, reports, yeah. I mean, when we create it, when we took this, uh, this link and paste it there, and after that, it get linked. It just because I want to, to get linked together. What was that word? Link? Is that a link? link? Yeah. Connect them. Yes. So I think uh, we, if you see, it, this is on my computer, right? This is on my computer, on my local machine. Now, this is not only in, on my local machine, it's also on GitHub. So using this repo now, you can access also everything what we have and people can start contributing uh, from this. So you can even download it by clicking over here. You click here or I mean, as you can see, you can download it or you can copy this and clone it. Clone CMD, uh, CD desktop and uh, in the desktop, uh, I go somewhere, git clone. If I do this, actually I'm copying it to, to on the desktop and the name of uh, the broad, the project will be portfolio, but there is the, with the same name already I have, I can't do that, but you can do that because you may not have, but a different uh, location I can do that so you can also clone it like that or just you do this it will be there already yeah so this is what we've been doing and it looks like this it's so it's an uh, it's it could best to, to store the main purpose is to store or to collaborate with others yeah great shall we move on Yes, please. And oh. if somebody is doing, I mean, uh, different users are working on the same file and you are uh, checking these comments, would they tell you who did the, what? Yes, of course. Okay. Because uh, as, you, as, as you have seen that, uh, mm. at every commit, if you go to the log, the mm. log, log history, the log history tell us, Okay, well, who was the author and the time and what was the message of the commit? So mm -hmm. this actually, it has been saved as header. It's, it has been saved as main part, something like that. Okay, now let's keep going. And now let's add some style maybe. I can create even some uh, folder and I can call this um, a CSS. And I can create uh, inside their styles.css. And by now you guys know how to link. You just write link dot CSS and styles, right? Just uh, in, we can also uh, uh, run our file. Uh, because it's good to see. Yeah, this is how it looks like. Uh, maybe if we want to add some style of this, the header, yeah, the header here. Now let's try just header and text align uh, center and let's see if it's moving. Yeah, uh, something is moving as you can see. Okay, great. And maybe let's just apply some color, color, background color. I think black is uh, good. Oh, no one knows it's good or bad. Okay, but now let's change uh, the color of the text to white, unless otherwise it's really hard to see what is in there. Okay, and even now, maybe we can also, do you remember the, this selector, the universal selector, this? And then let's remove the margin everywhere. Uh, then, as you can see, we have removed the margin. 
and maybe we can also style the footer too as you can see multiple selector now i'm selecting the footer i mean the header and the footer and give, uh, giving them the same uh style yeah as you can see uh, we have some kind of a uh, footer uh, here uh, but uh, the footer is actually at the top it, it would be nice if we make that we can select actually the HTML part. We can select it like this and uh, a height, minimum height. And if we give it 100%, maybe that would be at the bottom. Oh, okay, do I have to give for the body too? Uh, and then maybe I can just, let me just put this relative, uh, uh, position relative, we didn't learn that yet, uh, but just to fix this, I will talk about that later. And a footer, if we make the footer a position absolute, It may be down now. Uh, yes, it's it's a bit like that. Uh, but I want the body also, the body minimum height, hundred percent, and it will definitely push it. To, no, why not? How about your view height, and also maybe view height. Are uh, this? Uh, Things are new. Uh, okay, maybe I have to put the margin uh, on this button zero for the footer if it's going down. Yeah, now as you can see, it's uh, going down the footer because. I made it that guys don't be uh, overwhelmed about the CSS. We didn't cover this part of the CSS. I'm just trying to uh, put this down and we will talk about the CSS later. Today, just focus on only on the Git and GitHub. I, I should have touched this because sometimes it's uh, and weeds, let's just make 100% and it will cover the whole weeds. And as you can see, it will be like that. And the padding is not good. And you can just add some padding, right? And padding 50 pixels, something like that, just to, to create some kind of a padding uh, for the time being. And we have something like this. OK, and let's do also this style. Uh, we, we, we want the uh, navigation UL and li list now display inline block do you remember this the uh, finish uh, bus case yeah something like this as you can see now uh, we have and uh, we don't want also to select you maybe list and a uh, text decoration because if you've seen here there's a line yeah you don't need that line okay so text uh, decoration none and you don't see, and the color is not very good. Maybe we have to also do color again, white here, something like that. But it's also, it doesn't have any kind of uh, padding. So how about if we give just padding together here for both the 50 pixel and we can remove this pixel because the footer already had 50 pixel at the top, yeah? No need. Yeah, so kind of. And the main section, as you can see, doesn't have any padding. So I think uh, we can have also padding for the main section, uh, padding uh, 50 pixel. And now uh, uh, we have something that looks like this. Yeah, now it's ready for pushing. Yeah. Are you ready to deploy it? Let's deploy it. So now, if you see, let's uh, uh, do the GitHub thing. 
Uh, I have to write Q and git status. Oh yeah, so git status, uh, git uh, div, I think, div. Yeah, git div actually it show me uh, what the change, does it change every, does it show everything? Uh, it doesn't display everything, but anyway, uh, we don't care about that. So let's do git add. Uh, for instance, now we created this file and inside we uh, uh, created another file, this. First the directory and the file. So the easy way is git add dot, uh, add everything. Yes, git status, uh, git, how many files? It's, it's, it's a kind of two files has been changed as you can see. This is completely new file and this has been modified. So now git commit and I can say style has been added, yeah? And then git push u origin master. Even after the first time, like since we wrote that, after this, if you just write git push, it will work for you, just git push. That means git upload. By now it should be there. Where? Actually here, it should be here. Yes, as you can see, a new uh, directory or folder or CSS here. Can we deploy it here, guys, on GitHub? Let's deploy. Yeah, you go to here on this, on the settings, go all the way down. And then you may see some, uh, uh, where is it? Huh? Page, I think they moved it to here, yeah. So on the page, yeah, it, it has been here and now I, I don't see it right away because they moved it here. Uh, it's here actually, yeah, have you seen? It, they are informing page setting now has its own dedicated tab. Check it here out. So they moved it to here and now let's click it here. So you select which one from the master and then just save. This is what you do. After some time, you will have a portfolio and you can send to your friends and whatsoever or the recruiters and they see your portfolio. Let's give it some time and we will get back. Okay, how is it going guys? Are you following? Uh, this is not what we're working on. Yeah, following, but definitely we'll have to watch the video one more time. Of course, yes. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, uh, it needs uh, uh, it's it needs sitting down, and uh, you have to uh, watch it. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. And, and you have to practice it a couple of times. That is uh, how you learn because you have to try it and you have to see the result, and in that way. Uh, it it becomes just uh, second nature, but if you understand the big picture, that's enough now. Okay. What, the whole picture just and I think we are recording it properly. This will be a very good material to just um, uh, get uh, to to follow it. Yeah. Um, maybe I think we can now check. Uh, it might, the page might be ready. Let's try to see. Yes, our pages are ready, as you can see. Now you can share uh, with anyone you want. It's uh, already a web page uh, that you can share with people. Oh, have you seen this, guys? How do you stop this? You don't like to, okay, let's fix that. Okay, um, so now if I open this link, I will see the page which you have put yeah. in your I shared, yeah, I shared with you and guys try it. Yeah, on, on the chat, I shared with you and you just try, uh, it has to uh, work. And yeah, it, will. It, it does, right? 
Yep. Yeah, it does. Uh, of course, yes, it should. Uh, now let's fix this uh, minor fix and let's uh, uh, call it. Uh, uh, it would be nice to hear of the mic and then I will have a, a great time teaching here. Okay, great, thank you. Uh, so now, as you can see, you may not like this scrolling. It's something that uh, relate to uh, scrolling. And so uh, I think I can go here and scroll. What was this? Uh, the scroll. Hmm. What was the property? Scroll bar. Uh, I forgot the property. Scroll bar heated. Are we seeing now? Uh -huh. I, I, so go after this, Google will let me know what to do, you know? Overflow, yes. <laughs> It was overflow. So we have overflow. It could be uh, a vert this is vertical. So if we don't do this one because uh, you will not be able to scroll down, but it's okay not to be able to scroll this, yeah? But you should be sure that all your uh, data or content should be uh, able to uh, in the viewport yeah let's see now it's so overflow x uh, overflow x uh, maybe hidden or out that will fix for me e now because this is deployed already so i can't but this should work yeah i think this has been fixed already yeah we fix it. Uh, let me see. Comment out and see. yeah, have you seen it? Ah, it's annoying. Now uh, again, now it's not so. Now imagine you are working with a friend, and what are you going to write here now? Let's say why get status. Yeah. Now you may ask git add git commit, and then you may say message a uh, horizontal a scroll bar problem has been fixed or something uh, fixed. So it's a fix and it's fixed. And then the other uh, person or collaborator um, will, will work on other tasks. Git push again. So you got the idea. Now we learned how to initiate repos. We learned how to add files in the directories to the tracking stage. We learned how to commit. We learned how to create repositories, remote repositories, that means this is a remote repository. Where is it? This is a remote repository. And we learned how to connect the remote repository. Where is it that I will show you with a URL. Here I will show you the stage. Oh, well, it's hard to see me. It to see uh, for me. Uh, yeah, this one because it doesn't have any highlighter. The add origin this remote. Then the remote Git repo and this has been connected. It This says also portfolio, uh, the other, the remote also says portfolio. The naming doesn't matter. You can call this something and the other one something else, yeah? 
it, it just I gave it just the same name by accident. No problem. So now let's move on. How about if I do not like everything I have, and if I want to uh, uh, go back to day one, uh, I mean the first. Do you think it's possible to get the the, the first uh, file we get started with? Yeah, I think yes. Yes, let's track that. So git log, that means you want to track the history. And uh, the history tell us the first commit was this one and the ID is this one. So I have to copy this. I think it's copied. Now I have to go out, git check out and I have to give this ID and then I have to and uh, click enter. Yes. Now, have you seen where I am? I don't have all those rip, uh, those uh, directories, the, the CSS uh, uh, folder or style. I have only this. Do you remember this day, guys? The first day you start coding as a developer was this one. Do you remember it? Yes. Yes, we managed to travel or to go back in time. And but, but, but from where he recall it, uh, I mean. Okay. Yeah. That... yeah. Uh, so your question is where did it bring you, right? Yes, I mean, Story. there is no, what, what makes uh, the program go to that day specifically. Oh. However, it was not connected. We have just connected something now, but how it goes to that day exactly and take this that one. I mean, from where this registry uh, are saved. Okay, good. Uh, so first we gave it uh, this ID. So it go to the place where it's stored and filtered it out and gave us this based on this ID, yeah? Oh, but your question is a very good question, but how does really know? I mean, where? Because you, the first time when you say git init, you initialized it. And that means actually under the hood, there are some hidden uh, uh, directories. Let's see those hidden directories. Uh, so do you remember LS, LA? This is to see, all the hidden files. Have you seen this hidden file? Dot yeah. git. So everything is actually stored dot inside dot git. How do we go to dot git? See it? CD, CD dot uh, git. And let's see what we have there. Okay. If you see config description head, let's see. Uh, go to the head actually. Uh, mm -hmm. Oh, it's not? Okay. Uh, uh, we don't have to really spend more time dealing with this, but it is stored inside .git, okay? Mm, okay. So it's not just, uh, okay, let's get out from here. Let's get out from there. Oh, now even I just uh, got out from, uh, now I have to move on to portfolio. No, portfolios. Yes, now, but do you see this? It's not anymore, we're not anymore in the master. Uh, previously, we used to be in the master. Master means the main. Now we're just somewhere in some directory. Have you seen? So you took us to this directory actually, as you can see. When we wrote this, the checkout, right away when we wrote this git check out, it took us to this F13. And if you see F13, you are not in the master directory, instead you are in this directory. Yeah, so we have to check out from this git 
check out and to the master oh everything is now here we have everything great now you learn how to retrieve a previous uh, comments now let's learn how to create branches yeah so we can create a different branch maybe uh, to create a branch you may say branch first we have to see, uh, uh, let's see nothing to commit then git branch and the name of the branch branch means a completely different branch of what you had okay we can give it for instance uh, a development branch or something other or temporary let's say or new feature branch features maybe just yeah and i want to go to the new branch git check out to the new features now let's do on this and for instance maybe you don't like the header and let's change the uh, header color or something just doing some minor colors i like some purple okay not bad and with white it will be fine let's see where is it yeah something like this much brighter than dark Okay, then let's uh, commit and push it. So we can say git status and git add, git commit, a header background color has been changed. Git push u origin it's not master now instead the name of the branch you want to call it and then i call it features okay let's see and if i have a different branch i have to ref refresh it now i have two branches as you can see the master branch in the branch i created now so uh, you can just see the difference that if you if you want to see the master this is the master and the master actually has a black a header if you remember yeah it's black that's good and now let's see the features the features we changed that uh of the uh, uh, yeah, this we have changed. It's a kind of a purple color. Yep. And also the commit also tell us, uh, as you can see, the commit header background color has been changed. Yeah. And you see, we removed this, the black and the new. So you will be a senior developer or a lead developer who check other developers code. So first you have to see, check, and we call it code review. You review the code and you merge it. Okay, then how do we do the merging now? Imagine, okay, already, if you have noticed, features has recent pushes one minute ago. Compare and pull request, compare. Okay, I am comparing, as you can see, how, do you see this to this? This to this. So I'm merging, I'm about to merge. If I merge what I have from features to the master, then the two branches will have the same thing. Then just merge it. If there is something, some conflicts, it's difficult. So you don't see everything going like this. And then now I'm merging and uh, pull request successfully merged and closed. And if I want to delete, I can delete the branch and the branch will be deleted out because now the two branches do have the same thing. And it seems this branch is just there for nothing. Yeah. 
Yes, of course, if you delete, yeah, let's delete it. And uh, why? No, I don't need to revert it. Okay, let's see what we have now. Yeah, I ha now I have, as you can see, only one branch. Let's see, and now if this is, yeah, it's not anymore black. And if we refresh, can you refresh? If you refresh also your page, the page I shared with you, the portfolio, instead of black, you should see uh, purple. What do you see? I'm asking you. Black for me. Oh, still, is that still black? Yeah. It takes some time. Okay, just let's give it some time. Now, guys, do you think, how many branches do we have here? Let me know. How many branches do we have? Two. Yeah. Yes, two. So we can check it like git branch. If you write this, you see we have two branches. Where are we now currently? In the master? No. Can you look at it again? Features. Yeah, features. It's highlighted here. It's green. Um, and also, as you can see, so let's get out from features. So git check out and let's go to the master. And now we are in the master. Do you think the master I have in my computer, on, in my computer, and the master in the remote, do you think it's the same? You yeah. No. Because no. if you see now, because I, let, let me show you, you have here some kind of purple, but I have here a kind of still black because because I was working on the feature, now we are in the master. So one thing I can do, I can pull from the master, from the remote, git, pull uh, master, or I can do merge, git, merge features, because the features has some, like, let's do the, mer the, the merge here. Have you seen now I merged? So let's see it now. Have you seen? It has been changed now. So right. Now we learn how to merge. Maybe at some point, if you correct it remotely, do you think we can make this like, can we make any change from here? Yeah, we can make some changes, yeah? Or uh, maybe box sizing border box. I'm just uh, modifying. Sometimes you on 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 the move if you, if you are in the past and if you want something to change, and you might change it like even from your mobile phone, and you just um, some minor changes, some minor changes, and uh, or maybe a universal. I see, I see, I see, or something, and I'm committing it. Yes, it has been committed. Do you think now this master and the master I have, do you think it's the same? No, because I just modified it, but I didn't touch this one. So I have to pull from the remote and this and the remote should be at the same stage. As you can see, there is no uh, uh, box sizing. Like, like git pull from master. Mm. What? Git. What? Of course, I have. Git pull. Oh, uh, for some reason, we, when I just 
to get pull, it just pulled it anyway. Just I got the change. Now, have you seen it? It has been updated. Great. Now we know pull means it's a kind of downloading, getting what we have from remote. And now the local repo and the remote repo are at the same level or at the same stage. They have the same kind of data or information. Yep. Oh, yeah. What's left? It seems we just covered everything. But it's good to check on these 10 days of Yeah, we, we, we have to go down. Yeah, sometimes you may need to configure this when you get start. Uh, for me, I didn't start with that. I should have, but you just select this, get to config a global username. Mine is already configured, but I can also show you. Again, uh, you may just write at anywhere. So my name, Asabena. And then again, my email, this line. Without any string, let's just take it. Uh, where's the at? Gmail.com. Yes. Uh, then you may just configure it like that. Uh, we learned this, uh, we have covered all that, covered that, I uh, covered that. Uh, uh, we have covered that. Oh yeah. I did clone, for instance, how to clone, I may show you. Uh, that already we have the portfolio, the, let me show you how to clone, yeah. Uh, cloning. This folder is just to clone, okay? You have to, you don't have to call it cloning because I have portfolio. If I clone it on the desktop, it doesn't work because the remote name and this name is the same, yeah? So I have to go there. I can open here something like this. Uh, I open it. And then I have to go to the remote if you want to clone it. So you, this is how you do. You can here select this. Yeah, then you can here git clone and then paste that URL. That means downloading. Now, if you go there, if you go here, we have this portfolio and then, yeah, we have this. I think by now this also should have been, I should have, why? Oh, I was expecting it, but it may take some time. Yes, but anyway, what I cloned is, as you can see, it is, it has already purple. Okay, now other things. Uh, read me, read me, read me is a kind of a documentation, MD. the name of the, the, the file is MD markdown, markdown is a kind of HTML, yeah, so whenever you write, you write a hash, yes, it's, uh, it means H1, git and git hat lesson okay and install git great found on git hub create a project folder create some files so now when you see this on GitHub, actually, uh, then you may leave some information. Uh, for instance, Git and GitHub, 
Um, yeah, but I don't have any right some information. Yeah. And of course, he write the link, link or git, link or git hub. Yes, and create some files and some, some git commands. And they say git init, git add, git commit and and the message and git remote at url git push you origin master git clone url git uh git merge and then branch the name of the branch and to create a branch git branch and branch name and git uh, check out branch name to branch to check out from branch name I uh, git check out commit id to go to somewhere yeah so we create some kind of like if you want to uh, have something written, some documentation, you may use the markdown file. So what's the markdown looks like? git add git uh, uh, commit and documentation has been added. Git push. And then if you go and check what this looks like now actually it has some documentation yeah great and even uh, people to look at your page uh this one that the, the one we created here you can copy uh this one and put it uh, here and it will be so easy to see it over here um a uh, short git and github lesson yeah it, for me it's like that and for you you make so now you whenever you just land on this uh, repo you may see this first uh, you check what's happening here and now as you can see through time the color has been changed anyway Okay, what else do we uh, cover? Mm, day three, user interface. I think we have seen this part as you can see. And uh, yeah, that's the day markdown we saw. Yeah, great. Maybe I can also show you some others. So this, uh, whenever I, you have, this is the code. It just the code part issues. If some there's some issue, people uh, write the issue. Let me show you an example of issues. For instance, someone create issues here. What was it? Okay, someone wrote that. I noticed that you mentioned git checkout branch name to create a new branch. Do we use git branch branch name to create a new branch? Of course, yes. And git check out and branch name. Oh. Yes, yeah, so I think it was already, this is just to check out and this is just to create. Anyway, someone asked some question and another nice guy replied to this person. Yes, that is right. Of course, I have a full right for this repo. If I don't like the conversation, I may uh, delete and close as you can see. So it's an issue. And if you see also in other, uh, for instance, here I have about uh, 19 issues I have to go and uh, fix or I don't know, because I don't have time to, to go and check. And pull requests, these are suggestions. People want to contribute on 30 days of uh, 
a JavaScript. So I have to go uh, to every of the 54 uh, pull requests and I have to merge them if I like. And if I want, if I want it to be the way I want, I, I can uh, review and merge it. But if it's something just uh, uh, something which is not supposed to, I don't have to. Yes. Mm, okay, now you are actually, uh, uh, I, I had a chance to show you practical uh, thing. Okay, something else we can see. Uh, let's go back to our, uh, we saw this, it's the coding, the issues, pull request actions. Actually, uh, there are lots of tools here what uh, GitHub is uh, providing. I think when you go further in your career as a developer, you will explore them through time and then just wait and see. I will call this uh, for you, just wait and see. And uh, projects, yeah, you can also uh, uh, create projects here. Um, I have never used it, but this seems like an organized way to create a project. Wiki, again, you can uh, create a book-like thing, for instance, if you write here, um, just by itself, it's already created for you. Yeah, this is going to be the first page the home page, and then you can add uh, about and something, and then it just about. So as you can see, it is so easy. If you are an editor or if you're a writer or something, uh, you can just uh, easily uh, create a blog or some writing. Uh, where did the, the editing is here. So now uh, I am a developer and uh, instructor, and I just love teaching. Okay, just to show you, you know, I have to come up with some text, yeah? Great, uh, security issues, when there are some security issues, then some other to show up there. Let's see in, in other, uh, if there is already secret issues in other repositories. Uh, okay, there is no, but I have seen quite a lot in other repos, but I hope you can imagine it. So we don't have to check everything. Um, where are we? Mm, yes, here settings, as you can see, you, after setting, you can uh, navigate different things. So there are options here. I don't know what exactly it has, but now for instance, I want you to contribute on that and uh, I will add everybody here. Um, for instance, you will be a contributor and I want you to maybe, uh, yeah. So for instance, Olga, <laughs> there are hundreds of Olga, so how is it possible? To, uh, I think you can also, guys, uh, contribute even without being invited as a collaborator. You can uh, contribute because it's not protected. Um, another thing to see the traffic, by the way, you can see even the traffic of this uh, repo. You go to inside, and if you see the traffic, there's no traffic because. It, it was just created, yeah? But I may show you uh, a traffic, how it looks like. Uh, if this was a very important part, but for me at least it's very important. I will take you here and how it looks the traffic. And if you see, uh, it's really, as you can see now, it's like about 10,000 people visit uh, every week, uh, kind of. It's so, and even it shows where, it, where are the people coming directly from GitHub, from Google, uh, from Twitter, from Facebook, and from Dev2 website and the others, yeah? Uh, so it has quite a lot. Maybe also I may show you the commit, how the commit looks like. It may take some time. Yeah, because the commit is big. 
Uh, yeah, uh, I think uh, it has been a long time since I... I always it. Why well, I don't see it properly. Uh, for some reason, I, I don't see it properly, but I think I may see better view in uh, this one. Let's see. Uh, the commit here should be, yeah, it's so easy now for you to understand. We have the master, uh, as you can see, how many commits do we have? These are commits. The first commit, second commit, third. Yes, then we have created here actually uh, this, uh, the branch. And then after from the branch, I merge it to the master and the, ma the branch has been actually deleted and we don't see the branch anymore. So we have only uh, master from the remote, yeah? Guys, I think this is good enough. And if you manage to review what we have covered today, that's pretty good. If you have any question, let me know. Of course, we can add a couple of pages and make this look good, but I will leave for you add maybe a home page and some information or about and send a pull request to the to this page to uh, to the portfolio and you will be also responsible to collaborate on this try okay try so what do you do you clone it you clone this uh, how do you clone I have showed you already like this uh, uh, the clone as you can see then you open it how do you open it okay because it since it's in a different uh, cloning where is it yes and then you may just do actually about dot html and you connect it with this and add some functionalities and then you push it to the same uh, repo, this repo. And then I will see it, I will see it as in a pull request. Yeah. Good. Okay, thank you so much. I have to stop the recording here.